Welcome back to the channel. Today's day 194 of this 300 days fitness challenge. Today's exercise is right on the screen along with our daily checklist and a list of the items we're going to need until the end of this challenge. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel and pound the like button. Let's get to it. Let's take our first break. And, uh, that was a good set, by the way. <laughs> good warm up set. All right. Good warm up set. Um, As you can tell, I'm doing the shrugs with the Z barbell. I decided to go with that just because. <laughs> um, just changing things around a little bit. Definitely felt the exercise, which is a plus. And the weight actually is uh, 10 pounds heavier on each side versus how I used to do them with the dumbbells. So technically on each side I have, have 60 pounds <laughs> so, versus 50. So yeah, felt good. Can't wait to do the next three sets. It's a good warm up now. It's heavy, like to keep in my hands is heavy. The exercise itself is not that bad. I'm trying to keep a good pace, not too fast, not too slow. So, here we go. Hopefully, also I'm not too sore at the end of this exercise. I'm tending to like really push my shoulders really hard lately. Uh, here, let's see how it goes for the rest of the day. All right, time is up. Here we go. Time for a second break. My hands don't let me do more, <laughs> more reps. So I'm giving it most of what I have. I could probably use some of those little straps Gotta work with what I have. Uh, now I wanted to talk about my biceps. My arms are kind of extra sore and today is the third day after, well, yeah, like two days, uh, yesterday and today. Uh, so yesterday I did back, which was a failure. <laughs> 
and then the day before I did biceps my biceps are still sore from that day and it's not like they're sore it's like a weird sore kind of crampy sore I don't know how to explain it hopefully I didn't push myself too hard on the on bicep day that's the hope it's gonna be a few more days until I do biceps again so we'll see how it goes I'll probably have to start lighter next time well it depends I guess on how it goes <laughs> but that's the, what I'm thinking right now I'll probably have to go a little bit lighter at least at the beginning and then once the biceps are warm up especially this one then put weight on it all right so here we go with the third set of the shrugs and then we'll move on to the uh, lateral and front races here we go Another break. Yes, my hands are giving up. Like around the tenth rep, especially my left arm start, my left hand start opening up. And I wonder if no, I can't do it with the hooks because I kind of want to actually grip the weight. So if it didn't have metal hooks and it had some sort of strap, it would be a lot better. All right, so we have one more set. We'll roll this bar away. Already have my little baby dumbbells ready for <laughs> the races. Gonna be doing laterals and front first. Then we'll continue with the reverse flies and we'll close the exercises with dumbbell press it will be at that point when we'll add more weight to the dumbbells I'm thinking just going straight up to putting just adding 10 more pounds to each end of the dumbbells that way we are definitely increasing the weight on the shoulder press and also one thing <laughs> weighted the plates the 10 pound plates uh, the square ones which are nice I call them square because they're just have sharp edges uh, those weigh 10 pounds on the dot and the other uh, the other plates weigh 10 pounds on the dot so even though they look different they weigh the exact same thing. And I weigh them all. <laughs> all the plates. <laughs> also weighted the bars. Bars weigh 5.4 pounds. I forgot I wrote them down, but it's a little over 5 pounds. Each of the little dumbbell bars. And the Z bar bell weighs a little over 10 pounds. Alright, time is up. Last set of the shrugs, here we go.
felt good. <laughs> uh, so as I was saying, the Z barbell was a little bit over 10 pounds, 10 and a half pounds. And then dumbbell bars, a little over five pounds too. So safe to call them 10 pounds for the easy bar and five for the dumbbell bars. So just for psychological stimulus, you can say that whatever weight it is on the bar plus five pounds on the dumbbells. Makes you feel a little bit better than um, just doing races with 10 pounds. <laughs> Not that the ego means anything. It's baby weights. All right, let's push this easy bar out of the way for now. While we rest. Definitely getting warm. I mean, the muscles are getting warm. Still kind of chilly out here. It's April. Is it April? Yeah, it's April. <laughs> oh. Oh. All right, just a few more seconds. Actually, just a couple more seconds. And here we go with the first set of the races. Here we go. Break time. That felt good. Probably could have gone a little bit farther down than that, but didn't want to kill her all in one set. <laughs> Need to leave some for the next set. That's just an excuse. I could probably push myself a little bit farther on that one. But I didn't stop because I wanted to leave more for the next sets. I stopped because I wasn't thinking about keeping it going. <sighs> my body sent signals to my brain saying, hey, this is getting heavy. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Stop it. And I just stopped. <sighs> but now, consciously, I, need, I know that I need to keep on going. Keep on going. All right, so we have three more sets of the races, and then we'll go with re reverse flies. My shoulders are not really, I mean, my delts are not really that worked. So I'll we'll probably have to add weight to this exercise soon, soon enough. Maybe that's what I need. My traps, not so much. I'm lifting pretty, pretty heavy for the traps, so not much of a concern there. But the 
delt or the side of the shoulders maybe the front and the back a little bit and yeah, the back not so much but the front and the side for sure they need some work i'm gonna need to work out a little bit heavier all right time is up here we go second set That's what I'm talking about. Push, push. We have two more sets. Then we'll move on to the next exercise, which hopefully I can complete it successfully. <laughs> Let's have some water. After this, I need to do an oil change on my car. I went to the auto parts store and couldn't find the filter. For some reason, I could not find the filter. <laughs> but I'll go to the next, to another auto parts store. See if I can find it there. You're probably wondering why didn't you go when you couldn't find it in the first place. Well, I had the fiance and the baby tornado with me, and we needed to make it. We needed to make it home, so made that a priority over the filter. And I'll go and get a filter in a few. <laughs> All right, just a couple more seconds. We have two more sets of this exercise. All right, time is up. Here we go. Break time, shoulders are burning. Let's see where the timer is, we still have some time. <sighs> I 
and I'm getting tired. <laughs> Woo! All right, so. This is what I'm gonna do. One more set. We'll go reverse flies. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to push too much through the pain because this is burning. Just like last time, well, a little less than last time. Shoulders are definitely burning. to do a big and loud sneeze. And hopefully I didn't get you all deaf <laughs> with that sneeze. Actually, if I'm not too crazy busy today, I will edit out that sneeze. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, just a couple more seconds. We'll do the last set of the races. Move on to the next exercise. Uh. All right, here we go. Shoulders are burning for sure. best way like the best or most effective way to work out of the gym is working two body parts a day and if one body part it takes over an hour over 30 minutes to complete two body parts will take a little over an hour that's assuming that you're not on your phone playing around and whatnot you are doing your thing. <laughs> uh, all right, just a few more seconds. We're gonna leave the weight as it is. And we're gonna go with the reverse flies. All right. Should have drank some more water before I get dehydrated. All right, time is up. Here we go. Thank you. 
Break time. I decided to stop. Simply because I felt like I was going just through the motions, at least for the first few reps. So, I'm gonna count that as a warm up. <laughs> Tell counts as a set, it's a warm up set. Oh. I'm gonna be in pain today. Painfully in pain. to go a little bit slower maybe 20 or 30 percent slower trying to feel every rep therefore rep count should go down maybe 50 <laughs> percent so if i did 12 i could probably do 15 or more reps so if i make it to eight reps that'll be perfect I make it to 10 even better chances of me making it that far very low especially now that I'm even more sore than I was two minutes ago talking about that let's reset this before I forget there we go I was cutting it close <laughs> it's cutting it really close Have a sip. <sighs> Time is up. Here we go. Second set reverse flies. Here we go. to take a picture of my back I feel like I'm I have some muscles back there but yeah and that was all I could do with the with the reverse flies I could probably cheat one more but that wouldn't count shoulders are burning burning and it's almost pain it hurts to have my shoulders on me right now <laughs> like all I want to is just relax relax my shoulders but if I relax my shoulders Kind of the, the weight of my arms and my shoulders kind of make it hurt, makes it hurt. So, kind of have to keep the posture <laughs> to avoid the burn or to minimize the burn. <sighs> Funny feeling. And thinking that I have to do it then shoulder press we'll see how much we can do <laughs> and remember that I said I was going to slap 20 pounds on each hand uh, I'm gonna be struggling I'm gonna be struggling so much it's not even gonna be funny and hopefully I will not hurt myself and hopefully not on camera 
either. Time is up. Here we go. Third set. Reverse flies. We have one more set of that. It burns. I do feel like I have muscles back there. <laughs> uh. Considering doing that deadlift. I know, enough topic to comment here. <laughs> uh. but my lower back feels stronger, but at the same time, it's not as strong as it could be. Might need some advice on how to do deadlifts because I do not want to snap anything off. All right, so a lot said of the reverse flies. Then we'll bring the bench. At least I'll be sitting for the rest of the exercises. Just one more exercise. All right, ready or not, here we go. All right, let's get this done. Let's try to make this thing heavy. <laughs> I don't know why, but... Let's add the weight to it. Hopefully things will go all right. So... 15 pounds on each end of the dumbbell. Hopefully, hopefully we can do the exercise just fine. I am anticipating the struggle. And the pain I shouldn't be something too crazy. All right. Let's see. All 
find this lower desk. Just a little bit more. I have just a few more seconds. Uh, that should be fine. Yeah. All right. All right, time is up. This first set is gonna be rough. Take a break, real break this time. a little bit of a push there hopefully after this break I'll be a little bit more recovered I don't have to be messing around with weights or not hopefully I can do a better set But it's tough. It's tough dealing with dumbbells. A lot more goes into play when you do it with dumbbells. It has to stabilize the weight. You need to somehow stay stable on the bench. And also you have to push these things up. Somewhat controlled. There's a little bit of a debate on if you gotta Explode up or just control up and control down. I'm gonna go with a second option. Even though I did a few of those exploding <laughs> exploding reps in that last set. But I'm gonna redeem myself here in this next set. My arm is bugging me, but no excuses. Time is up. Here we go. Well, the answer is I'm exhausted already. Oh, I feel every single rep, and every single rep is a struggle. So before I hurt myself, I'm gonna take weight off. <laughs> Even though I do feel little bit of discomfort in my left shoulder nothing to get alarmed the alarm is what I don't want to be <laughs> so 
Taking the weight off now. Taking 50% of the weight off. And we'll see how the body responds to that. Okay, just a few more seconds. <sighs> All right, so that was not a great idea. <laughs> been a greater idea if I could increase the weight but not by that much just by a little bit time is up here we go with the third set of the shoulder press here we go Last break of the day. Well, rep count is consistent with the weight. I could probably do that weight oh, if the shoulder press was not the last exercise of the day. I thought I heard a dog outside. So that's my final verdict there. I could probably do the weight that I had on just fine if shoulder, shoulder press was not the last exercise of the day. So for next week, I'll try that. We'll push the shoulder press to Maybe the middle or the beginning of the exercise routine. I'll try to keep that in mind for next week. We'll see if I remember. If I don't remember, you'll see me pushing baby weights again. And tomorrow is leg day. And I think I'm going to do some squats tomorrow. I guess we'll find out. Whew. All right, just a few more seconds. And here we go with the very last set. Exercise of the day. Ooh. Timer almost screen up. Alright, time is up. And here we go. Thank you. 
that felt real good. <laughs> All right. That was it for today. I'll see you tomorrow. Adios.